Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see what is the sequence concept in Odoo and how we can implement. We will see in this discussion. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use the URL action in the XML file, what is the purpose, you can see the link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topic wise, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see here Odoo development and here different topics available with the real test cases. And if you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And source code also available in the GitHub. We have also different social media pages. So make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. And don't forget to subscribe this channel as well as and let's back to our main topic like what is sequence here so let's I'm going to in the cell to understand more about how the sequence is working right so let's say it's, it's a one kind of auto generate number or let's say the alphabet number right or let's say based on your requirement it will generate the unique number right so let's say here if i will open this one you can see here this is a unique name and this is a read only field right and it's created by the odoo itself we are not like human interaction is not available here so let's say i'm trying to create a new cells order you can see it's created it changed here the cells order number right so 0022 and if I will again try to create a new cells order, you can see the sequence auto increment by one, right? How is it possible? And if you want to implement the same thing in your model also, that is also possible. So this is called IR.sequence model and that model handle the all the sequence here, right? So let's say I want to generate a oh sorry not here in the school profile so here I want to implement like whenever I'm trying to create a new school profile here so it will automatic having a unique school ID always and it should be always a read only so how can I implement using the sequence feature right in Odoo so let's say I'm going to the Odoo training custom add-ons the school profile here and a new field name like sequence number like school seq name something like this and it should be like character field let's say school code right and this field i will add in the form view as well as the tree view so let's say this is the tree view here let me add here as well as in the form view like this here we go and now I'm trying to add one more record here in the data file right to create a sequence so for that like we need to create a new record in the ir.sequence model and that record we are trying to access in the school profile to generate a new sequence number so for that like I will do something like this name like this and here it should be like ir.sequence And here it should be a unique name and here we have to use the name field which is anything like school code something like this here we have to use the code right so this is the unique code we have to mention here so let's say I'm adding here the same name of the model name like this right and then after we have to use here a prefix so what is the prefix it's a character field or anything like let's say I want to add prefix as a school 
and then after we have to use here a new field which is number underscore increment so here we have to mention the as a eval right and increment by one so what happened like each and every time if you call this sequence so it will generate a sequence for you something like this two school three something like this four and so on right so like this we have to we must have to create this ir dot sequence record right and then we have to call the sequence in our specific method so here in this case like whenever i'm trying to create on this like let's say whenever we have to like use it trying to create a new school profile so it will automatically create a new sequence for this record set for the school profile record set right so for that like we must have to override the create method so we already create override the method you can see here right and here before the super call let me add here one more field like this one equal to and here we have to call the sequence right so for that like self dot env ir dot sequence and here we have to add or let's say call the method next by code and here we have to provide the this code the sequence code that's it and this is done here right let me upgrade the module but not from the front end side i'm trying to upgrade in the back end side maybe if you don't know how to configure or do this python please check i i already explained in a, one of the session in the editor level playlist you can check and i'm trying to upgrade the module here and i'm trying to refresh the patch I'm going to the school profile again you can see the school code is available right here which is blank right now why because we already created this one before we implemented the sequence now you can see if I would try to add here new school name right oh so this is a sequence here let me add as a read only one and i will change this one before the group so it won't be having an issue in the front end side so let me refresh the page now let's say i will add here a new school name like school first sick one Ox, the code is mandatory and now you can see here oh so we remove we must have to remove this one because this is a wrong code right let me again go to here trying to duplicate all right it's not available and let's say here school sequence like this oh you can see it's automatic created here now why it come like why it display school 2 right not a school 1 because if you remember last time we write we we tried to duplicate this record in false exception right the user error so due to that the previous record was rolled back completely and during that time the first sequence already generated so now onward like the sequence number always change like frequently change like then after the next number always comes here like let's say the two if i will go to trying to create here a new record like this right you can see here the three then after let's say 
you can see the four and if I go to the list view you can see here like this the school code automatically generated by Odoo side right and if you want to see in the Odoo side in the front end side you can go to in the settings in the technical and you can see here the sequence and the sequence is this one you can see here the school is here and what is the next number you can see the fifth is the next number right fourth already used here so this is the thing then after you can also add some dynamic data right like let's say i'm trying to use here uh let's say the year like what is the year so a simple i will copy this one right and i will pass here and save it and now you can see here uh, in a school profile let me try to create a new school profile right now you can see this is the auto six increment number this is the current year which is 2020 and this is the prefix name right so like this way also you can add the dynamic name then after static name also only this one and the sequence number like this so i hope you understood how the sequence is working i mean ir dot sequence model right if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session